Yo, what's up guys? So 2K20 finally came out. We're playing the demo today, boys. So I have the best, absolute best dribble god ISO build that you would ever imagine for 2K20, okay? I got you guys. I wouldn't let I wouldn't let you struggle. I'm trying to see everyone eat like me in 2K20. Now the dribbling it is a little bit harder, but I'm gonna help you guys with your build at least. In this video, I'll make a separate video for everything else. Maybe the best spot up build, all that. So you want to make a point guard. I am 95.6% sure. Can't forget the point six. So when you're creating your player this year, there's these little pie charts. There's at least like about 10, 15 right here. So you see, there's four categories also. There's finishing, shooting, playmaking, and defense and rebounding are the same category. So, if you wanted to make the best ISO build, it would one, either be a pure playmaking, like this pie chart right here, or it would be a mix of playmaking and shooting, which would be this one right here, where you see your ball handling and your shooting attributes are still high. But right here, the ball handling is insanely high, and then the shooting's all right. The good thing this year is whenever you pick your archetype, okay, and upgrade your player, okay, your badges are dependent on how you upgrade your player. So if I upgrade my shooting all the way, I'll get a lot of shooting badges. So that's good, right? So I actually am going to take a look at this pure playmaking build real quick, see how many shooting badges I can get. So, so with this also, you get to pick your speed, acceleration, vertical, and strength. Same thing as before, but it's just like five options, okay? So, of course, if you want to be a, a dribble demon like me, you want your speed and acceleration to be higher than about everything. All right, guys, so I'm going to go with 95 speed, 95 acceleration, 75 vertical. There's also another option down here, 94 speed, 92 acceleration, 88 vertical. You could go with 13 more vertical and a little bit, like barely any less speed or acceleration, but you know, you wanna be as fast as possible, okay guys? All right, so now you get 420 upgrades, okay? And then based on how you upgrade your player, you see on the bottom right, you get badges and badge upgrades to pick whatever badges you want based on how you upgrade your player. I'm gonna upgrade my shooting all the way, okay? So my midi goes up to a 80, my three point goes up to a 75, and I get 15 shooting upgrades, okay? Then whenever I upgrade my playmaking all the way, I get 30 playmaking upgrades and a 95 ball control, 95 pass accuracy. I'm looking key rocked. And then of course I'd want to upgrade my my dunks, my or my driving dunk, my driving layup, my close shot to get some finishing badges. Okay, and then I want to be. I think if you have an 80 driving dunk you get contact dunks right i'm gonna have to upgrade my interior defense my perimeter defense my lateral quickness and then of course i have to have my steel up as high as possible i'm not sh i'm not sure if you need to upgrade your block at all to uh get better contests on shots but that isn't that big of a concern to me Also, looking at this, it looks like I can move my post moves down to 81, so I get six more upgrades for my steal, and then I get a badge, another badge for defending, so that, that's definitely worth. I don't see anything else I can put this one upgrade on, so I might just throw it on. Gatorade packs carbs to refuel and electrolytes to replenish. on blocks for no reason yeah yeah all right so this is definitely the best way to upgrade or no i shouldn't put it on my standing dunk actually i think this is the best way to upgrade a pure playmaker for sure now we have to get into the badges though okay but before that something they added this year is body shape now you can make your player built slight compact solid defined burly whatever you want but I'm not sure how this is going to affect, like, dribbling. I'm pretty sure I asked at Community Day, 
how this or someone asked how this is like effective and they said it doesn't really do anything yeah so i've decided that i'm gonna make my player build it doesn't really matter that much you guys can do whatever you want now for height i could either make my player 6-5 or i could make him 6-6 if i go 6-6 i lose six ball handling and i also lose one on my three pointer but if i go 6-5 i get that six ball handling i have an 80 driving dunk as well and I'm pretty sure you get contact dunks with an 80 driving dunk. My player will be something very serious. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with a 6.5. Now wait, this also isn't that big of a deal. You see, when I go down, I gain lateral quickness and I lose interior defense. But if I go up, it's the other way around. So I'm thinking I'm going to go up a tiny bit to where I get a 60 interior defense. But don't lose much lateral quickness. You see 208's the little sweet spot. I gain two for my defense, lose one for lateral quickness. That is basically perfect for me. Now on to the wingspan, okay? So if I move it down all the way, I gain a lot on my three, my midi. But if I go up all the way, I lose three on my three, my midi. And I lose some ball handling. But I gain some steel. I don't care about that. The only reason I would have my arms up all the way is so that I can play better defense, mash better, and shoot over people. Now, if I go up one on my wingspan, I lose one on my three-pointer. If I go up one more, I lose one on my midi. That's not a big deal at all. I think that's definitely... ...definitely worth the wingspan. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to go with this because I still have a 77-380 driving dunk. 95 ball control this is definitely alpha this is the meta now for my takeover you only get one takeover this year okay so they gave me three options based on how i made my player playmaking slashing and shot creating now slashing i don't think is worth it for my build because i'm already i already have decent mashing stats i have an 80 driving dunk and then playmaking I mean, that would basically only help me dribble longer, get ankle breakers more, but that might be what I need. But what I really need is the shot creating takeover because my shooting's only a 77. I'm going to have like 15 shooting upgrades for my badges or something like that. But I need people to respect my shot. I need people to come up and guard me so that I can blow past them cook them up all of that so i'm gonna go with shot creating takeover because it just seems like what my build needs okay now look at this guys the funny thing is it says i have built a slashing playmaker but that is not how i'm gonna be playing it oh you guys will see now whenever i upgrade my player okay look at this it says that i don't get an 80 driving dunk until 99 overall i'm not sure how you, if you can upgrade whatever attributes you want whenever you want we're gonna have to figure that out but if it is like that this might be a yikes but my player is still insane 11 finishing upgrades 15 shooting 30 playmaking and three defensive now my player is gonna have a lot of playmaking upgrades some finishing and some shooting so i'm gonna be very well balanced Alrighty guys, I put my badges on. I'm going to show you guys how I did it now. So I went with gold contact finisher, bronze fancy footwork, gold giant slayer, gold relentless finisher, and bronze slithery finisher. Now I went with these because gold contact finisher, gold giant slayer, gold relentless finisher, those are all going to help me mash very well. As you see, giant slayer heightens the effectiveness of layups over taller defenders. So it's going to help me make some very bad layups. So this is, these are going to be bailouts. This is like, you know, my player is a pure playmaker. That's what it's meant to be, okay? But I'm going to be able to shoot very well, mash very well, dribble very well. So all around, I can just literally do everything. I can dunk, finish, shoot, dribble. My player is insane. 